multiplication and division of sets. Today we are going to look at how to multiply and then divide sets. Unlike addition and subtraction of sets, in which only like sets can be added or subtracted, multiplication and division of sets doesn't work like that. Here we can multiply and divide unlike sets. So firstly, we have to reduce the sets to their simplest form before we go ahead and multiply. Otherwise, the sets or the values may be so big that we may fumble. Alright, so let's look at, or let's begin with some simple example. As you may have um, the square root of 5 times square root of 3. Uh, is square root of 3. Alright, over here the sets are already in their simplest form so there is no need to worry about reducing them. They are already in their simplest form. So what we have to do is, let's go ahead and then multiply the radicands. So we have 5 times 3 and this is giving us what? 5 times 3 is what? 15. So we have square root of 15. Square root of 15. It's already in the simplest form so there is no need to worry about uh, reducing it. All right. Now let's look at the second one. If you have square root of 12 times square root of 50, these two sets are not in the simplest form, so we have to reduce them to the simplest form or the basic form. And as we have been doing all these, root 12 is the same as root 4 times 3, by root 50 will be 25 times what? 2. If you have square root of 4, times square root of 3 times when we come here to we have square root of 25 times square root of 2 if you know there's no need to bring this step you can skip this step so square root of 4 is what 2 root 3 times square root of 25 is what 5 then you bring the root 2 now this is in the simplest form you can go ahead and then multiply so then the rational part multiplies the rational part so 2 times 5 will give me what 10 and then root 3 by root 2 will be what 2 times 3 the radicand will multiply 2 times 3 will be what 6 so then we have 10 root 6 that's our answer so firstly you reduce the sets to the simplest form and then when you get the simplest form then go ahead the rational part will multiply and then the square root parts will also multiply each other all right let's look at the third example if you have 3 root 10 times root 2, the rational part multiplies the rational part. There is a hidden 1 over here. There is a hidden 1 over here. So 3 by 1 will give me what? 3. And then we have root 10 times root 2. The radicands will multiply. So 10 times 2 will give me what? 20. Alright, so I would say this is your answer. But don't forget the 20 is not in a simplified form so we have to reduce it further so we have 3 the square root of 20 can be written as 4 4 times 5 4 times 5 will possibly give us 20 we've not done anything We're just trying to reduce root 20 to the simplest form so this is equal to root 4 times what root 5 so if you know how to do it there's no need to bring a step you can skip that step so this one is equal to root 4 is the same as what? 2 and half times root 5. So 3 times 2 will give us what? 6. Then you bring a root 5. The root 5 is in the simplest form. You can simplify it further. So that's what it gives you. Alright. So let's look at uh, multiplying two binomials. If you have to multiply two binomials. Um, so the fourth one. We have 5 root 2 plus, let's say, 10 root 3 by 3 root 7 minus 3. 5 root 2 plus 10 root 3 multiplied by 3 root 7 minus root 3. Alright, if you have uh, two binomials like this, you can FOIL or you can apply the distributive property. 
the first terms will multiply when you finish the outside terms will multiply the outside terms then the inside terms multiply and then the last terms also multiply first terms will multiply so 5 root 2 multiplies 3 root 7 so 5 times 3 is what 15 root 2 times root 7 will give me what root 14 all right so the outside terms will multiply the outside terms will multiply 5 root 2 times negative root 3 there's a hidden one here so 5 times negative 1 will give me negative 5 and then root 2 times root 3 will give me what root 6 all right then after that then the inside terms will multiply inside terms 10 root 3 times 3 root 7 so the 10 will multiply the 3 and i'm getting what 30 then root 3 will multiply root 7 which gives me what 3 times 7 is what 21 good then the last terms will multiply the last terms the last terms in each of the brackets so 10 by negative 1 will give me what negative 10 and root 3 by root 3 will give me what 3 all right so we see whether we can simplify this actually there is nothing you can do about this these are not like terms so there's no way you can add or subtract them so this is our final answer that's all also if you have if you have 2 plus 3 multiplying 2 minus root 3 all right before the first or well, 2 multiplies 2 we give us 4 2 multiplies negative root 3 we are getting what 2 root 3 and then root 3 multiplies 2 we are getting 2 root 3 and then what root 3 multiplies root 3 and we are getting negative root 3 what squared so 4 see negative 2 root 3 plus root 3 it cancels out and then we are having minus the 2 will cancel the square root and we are having what 3 which is equal to what 1 this is actually difference of two squares so we'll talk about that in the um, next session so let's look at um, let's talk about division of sets assuming i have root 10 divided by root 5 this one is going to be the square root of what 10 over 5 then 5 will go here 1 and then 5 will go here what 2 so we are having square root of 2 so that's our answer let's look at the second example if you have the square root of 18 divided by square root of 2 it's going to give a square root of 18 over 2 2 will go here 1 then 2 will go here what 9 so we are having square root of what 9 the square root of 9 is equal to what 3 that's your answer all right what about if you have um if you have 6 root 21 over 2 root 7 you see for this one 6 divided by 2 the rational part will divide the rational part so 6 will be divided by 2 and if 2 divides 6 we are getting what 3 yeah, 2 go here 1 2 go here 3 so it's 3 over 1 the same as 3 and then when you come here to you have root 21 this is actually over 1 you will have root 21 over what 7 okay and then 7 go here 1 7 go here 3 so you are having 3 over 1 is what 3 square root of what 3 and that's your answer all right let's look at another example assuming i have 15 root 32 divided by 5 root 8 it's the same thing so um 15 will be divided by what 5 and then if 15 divided by 5 will give me what 3 okay and then root 32 divided by 8 is actually 32 divided by what 8 32 divided by 8 and then this one is giving us what 32 divided by 8 is giving us what 4 okay and then root 4 is the same as 2 so we have 3 by 2 and then this is equal to what 6 so that's your answer